chapter 33. Let's put the two new cards on the table, said Charles. He and his so-called teammates, Andrew and Haley, Charles planned on dumping them both right before he made his glorious solo exit from the library, had scoured the library together for hours looking for more book cover matches. Peckelman wasn't nearly as good with the Dewey Decimal System as he had claimed to be, and Charles needed someone to do that sort of thing for him. His father always hired tutors or research assistants for him whenever Charles had to do a major paper or report. Finally, around six in, coincidentally, the 600s room, they scored twice, finding T for you and me, 641.3372, and why wait to lose weight, 613.2522. Now their puzzle only had four blanks remaining. Okay, said Andrew. I think it's pretty clear. Wooly blank, walk up the skinny, blank blank, house, Indian and 19 blank. Charles nodded and said, interesting, even though he knew Peckelman was way off. Uh, hello, said Haley. That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does, said Andrew. Uh, no it doesn't. In his head, Charles had decoded the clues so far as you, a female sheep, blank, walk out the, T-H-E, way, way, blank, blank, in, in, past, past, blank. But out loud he said, I think we just need to tweak Andrew's translation a little. Fine, go ahead, I don't care. Andrew slumped down in his seat to sulk. How about she blank walks out the skinny blank blank house 500 and past blank? Where'd you get she? asked Haley. From sheep, the card you gave us. Actually, I think the sheep is supposed to represent you because a you is a female sheep. Fascinating, said Charles. I didn't figure that out. What he did figure out was that Haley Daly was much smarter than he had assumed. She could be a serious threat, and no way was Charles sharing his prize with anybody, especially her. And how did you get 500 from Indiana? she asked. Simple. Indianapolis, the capital of Indiana, is home to a race known as the Indy 500. Okay, so how about you blank walk out the skinny blank blank in? because the Nancy Drew book was about an in, 500 pass or past blank. Now Peckelman piped up. That makes more sense than what you said, Charles. Indeed, said Charles, sounding magnanimous. Perhaps the clues are telling us to locate a secret skinny passageway 500 paces past some landmark here in the library. Andrew was excited. This is like the pirate map from Treasure Island! Or, said Haley, maybe these clues are telling us we need to go out and find the four books we haven't found yet. We should split up. I'll go back to the 400s room. We've already been in there, said Andrew. Well, you guys might have missed something. Good idea, said Charles. He figured if Haley Daly wasted time retracing steps he and Andrew had already taken, she would find nothing new and become less of a threat. Let's meet back here at, say, seven. Fine. Haley left the meeting room. Charles went to the door and closed it. You know what we really need? He said to Andrew. Chocolate milk and maybe some cookies? Charles shook his head. No, Andrew. We need whatever clues Kyle Keeley and his team have found, especially if they have our missing cards.